Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial. Today we are going to learn how can we add our SOAP UI project to version control system and we are going to use Git and we are going to go very basic step by step and we will learn how to install Git on Windows, how to create a GitHub account, how do we add our SOAP UI project on Git, then we will see how can we add commit and push the changes to the repository and finally we will see how can we remove the project from Git. So let's get started and step number one will be we have to download and install git. So let me go to the browser and here I am going to say git download and hit enter and the very first option I have got is git scm.com downloads. So I will go here and here you can see you can download git for your operating system and even if you are following this on mac you can download it for mac and then follow the other steps so i will download it for windows and this should start the git download and you can see the exe file is getting downloaded and you can see the download is now completed here so i will go to the folder and i will just start the executable file So this will start git installer and here I will say next. Now here you can select the location where you want to install git and say next and then again next, next, next and again say next. You can leave all this as, this as default and finally you will click on install and it will install git now in my case I am going to cancel this because I have already installed git so I am going to cancel the setup and to check whether git is installed you can go to your command prompt and say git space hyphen hyphen version and this will give you the git version for your operating system so this means git is now installed so the next step you have to do is we have to create a github account so let us again go to our browser and this time i have to go to github so let us go to github.com and here in case you do not have an account you can create an account here you can pick a username give your email id create a password and then sign up for github in my case i already have it so i will sign in so i am just going to sign in with my username and my password so here we have signed it to our github account now we have to create a repository so you can go to this plus icon and create a new repository so here you can name your repository i will say this is soap ui project and you can give some description and you can keep it public if you want to keep it private then you will have to pay for it so as of now we will keep it public and then just create a repository so here is our repository and here is our url okay so here is the url now the next step is step number three is we have to add soap ui project to git so for that let me go and open my soap ui so here is my soap ui and let me just close this starter page and here is the project so i will double click on the project and here i have got the details and you can see here is the location of my project so i am going to go to the location of my project so which is here in onedrive i have projects and then i have soap ui projects now here you can see i have multiple projects in a single folder now in your case you should keep your soap ui project separately in a separate folder because the entire folder will be added to the git repository but in my case i have all these projects so let it be i will go with this so what i have to do is so i will go to the location of this project i will copy this project path from here and then go to my command line so i will go to my command prompt and first 
change the location to the location of my SOAP UI project and then I will say git init. So this command will initialize an empty git repository and if you see here now you will find a hidden folder by the name dot git and in case you have not enabled viewing of hidden folders then you might not be able to view this so you can enable viewing of hidden folders and you should be able to see this folder dot git here so let me write down the steps as well go to command prompt and you can go to your terminal in case you are on mac go to location of soap ui project and then you have to say git init now you will say git status and you can see all of your projects or whatever projects you have inside this folder are shown in red that means they are not yet added to git so you will say git status and then to add you will say git add and you can either select a project that you want to add you can give the name or you can say dot to add all the projects for example i can say git add rest project one soap ui project xml so i i will add only this particular project otherwise if i want to add all the projects i can say git add dot and if i say git status here now you can see everything is in green now so that means it is added to git however it has not yet been committed to the remote repository if you go to the remote repository and refresh it you can see you will not find anything here as of now so you will go to your command line again and now say git commit minus m and the commit message so i can say adding soap ui projects okay so the next command is git commit minus m and commit message within quotes and now the next command will be you have to push the changes to the remote repository so for that you will copy the location of the remote repository so this is the location you will copy the url from here and then run the command git push minus u and the url of the github repository and you can give the branch name so i am giving the branch name as master so this is the default branch and then i will just hit enter now here it is asking me for my username so you can give your github username so this is raghav hyphen pal in my case and then your github password and press enter now you can see it is pushing the objects to the repository here and it is 100% done let me go back to the notes and say next is git push minus u and the url and the branch name which is master now at this particular point if you go to your repository and refresh it on github you can see all your projects are added here and you can see this is just added two minutes ago and you have all the changes here now let me try to do some changes in my project so let me take this rest project and let me just try to add any step i will just add a groovy script step here and save and now if you go to your command line and go to the same location and say git status now you can see it is showing us that something has been modified so in our case this particular project was modified and it has not yet not yet been added to git so i will again say git add i can say git add dot or that particular project and now i will say git status now git commit minus m updated project and you should give the project name as well so these commit messages are very important if you are working with teams so that everyone will know what is the change that you have done and then i will again run the earlier git command to push the changes 
and here I have to add my username and my github password now in case you do not want to add this username and password every time then you can add a command like git add username so just go here and in the documentation of git you will find this command so here you can use this command to set your username so that you are not always asked for the username and password and now if i go back to my github and refresh it let me just see so you can see for this rest project there was an update which was done a minute ago and you can see all our changes are now have now come here so let me also write down the steps step number four will be validate changes are pushed to repository which is our github repository and now also let us learn how to remove project from git now in case you want to remove the project the only simple thing that you have to do is go to your project folder and you just have to delete this dot git folder from here so if you delete this i will delete my dot git folder and if i go to my command line and say git status or any git command this is showing me because there is this is not yet added to git okay and by doing this by removing the dot git folder you have just removed your local project from git however this repository will still be available on your github so just in case you want to remove this repository as well you can go to the settings and you can go down and here is the option to delete this repository so you have to give the repository name here and then you can do a delete in case you want to delete it so these are the five steps using which you can add your SOAP UI project to git. I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.